Once upon a time, in a kingdom where the night sky shimmered with a thousand stars, there lived a princess named Selene. With hair as silver as moonbeams and eyes that sparkled like celestial bodies, Selene was no ordinary princess. She shared a mysterious connection with the moon, feeling its phases within her soul as if they were part of her own heartbeat. Each night, as the kingdom slept, Selene would stand by her window, gazing up at the moon with a longing that reached deep into her bones. It was during the nights of the full moon that her yearning grew the strongest, for it was then that she dreamed of a silver city in the sky, a place of ethereal beauty that seemed to call out to her. Despite her responsibilities and the love she held for her people, Selene couldn't shake off the feeling that her destiny lay beyond the stars. She often wondered about the Silver City in her dreams, yearning to visit it, to understand the connection that tugged at her soul with the force of a thousand tides. One such night, when the moon hung full and bright in the velvet sky, casting a silvery glow over the world, something magical happened. As Selene watched from her balcony, a carriage made of moonlight and dreams descended from the heavens, pulled by horses that shimmered like the surface of the moon. The carriage landed softly before the palace, as if it had always known its destination. Hesitant, but filled with an indescribable pull towards the unknown, Selene approached the carriage. The door opened as if by magic, inviting her in. With a heart pounding with anticipation and a touch of fear, she stepped inside, and in that moment, the carriage took off, soaring into the night sky. The journey was like nothing Selene had ever experienced. Stars blurred past as they ascended higher, leaving the earth far behind. Time seemed irrelevant, and the universe itself felt within reach. Finally, the carriage began to slow, revealing the silver city from Selene's dreams, glowing with a light that was gentle yet powerful. As she stepped out of the carriage, Selene was greeted by the Moon Queen, a regal figure who radiated a calm and benevolent authority. The Queen revealed to Selene the truth that had called to her all her life. She was destined to help protect the night sky from being consumed by eternal darkness. The Moon Queen spoke of a balance between light and dark, a balance that was now threatened. Selene listened, her heart swelling with a mix of pride and fear. She had always known she was meant for more than the life she led, and now, faced with her destiny, she felt a resolve awaken within her. This was her chance to learn about the inner light she possessed, and to understand the importance of following one's destiny, no matter where it led. Thus began Selene's adventure in the stars, an adventure that would teach her more about herself than she had ever known, and one that would determine the fate of the night sky itself. In the heart of the Silver City, under a sky aglow with constellations that told stories of ancient times, Princess Selene began her training. The Moon Queen, with wisdom as boundless as the universe, took Selene under her wing, teaching her the secrets of the moonlight and the stars. Selene learned to harness the celestial energies, to weave them into shields of light and spears of purity. Each lesson brought her closer to understanding her unique connection to the moon and its power. But it wasn't just the art of cosmic magic that Selene had to master. The queen spoke of the balance between light and darkness, a delicate equilibrium that had maintained peace across the cosmos for eons. This balance was now under threat 
from a force known as the Eternal Darkness, a creeping void that sought to extinguish every star and consume the night in its unending abyss. As her training progressed, Selene discovered within herself a deep well of courage. She realized that her dreams of the Silver City had been a call to this very moment, a destiny she was born to fulfill. She forged a bond with the lunar energies, feeling them as an extension of her own spirit. With each passing day, her resolve hardened, and she knew that she was preparing for a confrontation that would decide the fate of the night sky. The Moon Queen showed Selene the Arcanum Celestis, an ancient observatory that housed the celestial loom, a device capable of weaving the very fabric of the night sky. It was here that the balance was maintained, and it was here that Selene would learn to wield her powers to protect the harmony of the cosmos. Amidst the stars, Selene felt a sense of belonging she had never known in the palace. She spent her days studying the constellations, learning their stories, and understanding their influence on the balance between light and dark. Nights were spent practicing her newfound abilities, each successful spellbinding of lunar energy bringing her closer to being the guardian the Moon Queen believed her to be. However, as Selene grew stronger, so too did the presence of the eternal darkness. It crept closer to the edges of the Silver City, its cold, suffocating embrace a constant reminder of the looming threat. The Moon Queen warned Selene that the time would come when she must face this darkness, not just with the power of the moon, but with the strength of her heart and the purity of her spirit. As her training neared its end, Selene felt a mixture of fear and anticipation. She had come to love the Silver City and its celestial inhabitants, but she also longed to return to her kingdom, to use her newfound strength to protect her people and the night sky they cherished. The Moon Queen assured her that the path she walked was her own, guided by the light of the moon and the destiny that awaited her. Selene knew that the confrontation with the eternal darkness was inevitable. As she stood at the edge of the celestial loom, gazing into the vast, star-filled expanse, she made a silent vow to protect the beauty of the night, to stand as a beacon of light against the encroaching shadows. The journey ahead would be fraught with challenges, but Princess Selene was ready. With the moon as her guide and the stars as her allies, she would face whatever darkness lay ahead, for she was the Moonlight Princess. And this was her destiny. In the heart of the Silver City, amidst its gleaming spires and ethereal gardens, Princess Selene began her training under the watchful eye of the Moon Queen. The city was a place of wonder, where the buildings shimmered with the light of the stars, and the air was filled with a sense of peace and magic. Selene, with her innate connection to the moon, found herself adapting to this celestial environment, as naturally as a flower turning towards the sun. The Moon Queen, seeing the potential within Selene, taught her the ancient arts of lunar magic. These lessons were not just about wielding power, but understanding the delicate balance of the cosmos. Selene learned to harness the energy of the moonlight, to weave it into spells that could heal or protect, and to listen to the whispers of the night sky for guidance. As her abilities grew, so did Selene's understanding of her destiny. She learned of the shadow, a force of eternal darkness that sought to extinguish the stars and consume the light of the universe. The Moon Queen explained that the shadow had been kept at bay for centuries, 
but its strength was growing once more, threatening the very fabric of the night sky. Selene's heart grew heavy with the weight of her responsibility. The thought of her kingdom and the world below plunged into eternal darkness, fueled her determination. She spent her days and nights mastering the lunar magic, pushing herself to the limits of her abilities. One evening, as Selene practiced her magic in one of the city's highest towers, she felt a strange pull, a disturbance in the fabric of the night. Rushing to the Moon Queen's side, she learned that the shadow had launched an attack far sooner than anticipated. Its dark tendrils were spreading across the sky, blotting out the stars, one by one. The Moon Queen looked upon Selene with a mix of pride and sorrow. The time has come, Selene. You must confront the shadow. Remember, the light within you is stronger than the darkness, no matter how consuming it may seem. Armed with her newfound powers and the blessings of the Moon Queen, Selene prepared to descend back to her world, to face the shadow. Her heart was a tumult of fear and courage, but the determination to protect her kingdom and the night ski shone brighter within her. As the lunar carriage took her back towards the earth, Selene looked out at the cosmos, now partially veiled in darkness. She understood the magnitude of her journey, not just a quest to defeat the shadow, but a journey inward to discover the true extent of her light and strength. The battle ahead would be her greatest challenge yet, but in her heart, she knew she was ready. Selene's return to the earthly realm was marked by a sense of urgency and a determination that burned as brightly as the moon on a clear night. The landscape below, once familiar and welcoming, now held an ominous shadow that crept across the land threatening to extinguish the light of every star in the sky. Upon her arrival, Selene found her kingdom shrouded in darkness, the once vibrant life under the threat of the shadow's cold grip. The people, her people, were fearful, their hopes dimming like the stars above. But seeing their princess, shining with the light of the moon, reignited a spark of hope within their hearts. Without delay, Selene set out to gather the bravest warriors, the wisest scholars, and the most powerful magicians. She shared with them the knowledge she had gained in the Silver City, teaching them how to harness the moon's energy and stand against the darkness. Together, they formed a luminous army, ready to face the encroaching shadow. The night of confrontation arrived sooner than they had hoped. The sky turned a deep, consuming black, as if the stars had never existed. From this darkness emerged the shadow, a force so powerful, it seemed to swallow the very light around it. Selene stood at the forefront, her silver hair glowing with an ethereal light, a beacon of hope in the overwhelming darkness. The battle that ensued was unlike any the world had seen. The air crackled with the power of lunar magic, the moon's light clashing against the dark tendrils of the shadow. Selene and her allies fought with a bravery and determination, fueled by the very essence of the night sky they sought to protect. In the midst of the chaos, Selene realized that to defeat the shadow, she would need to tap into a power deeper than she had ever accessed. Closing her eyes, she reached within to the core of her connection with the moon. Whispering ancient words taught to her by the moon queen, she summoned a brilliant silver light, a pure expression of her inner strength and the moon's eternal glow. 
With a fierce cry, Selene unleashed the light, a radiant wave that swept across the battlefield. The shadow, for all its consuming darkness, could not withstand the purity and intensity of the moon's light. It shrieked, a sound of despair and defeat, as it was gradually dissolved, its darkness replaced by a soft, silver luminescence. As dawn approached, the first light of the sun revealed the aftermath of the night's battle. The darkness had been pushed back, the stars twinkling once more in the sky. A testament to the victory won by Selene and her allies. The kingdom rejoiced, their love and admiration for their princess reaching new heights. Selene, though weary, stood tall and proud her heart filled with the peace of knowing she had protected her people in the night sky. But the battle with the shadow was more than a victory over darkness. It was a journey of self-discovery for Selene. She had learned the true extent of her power, the depth of her courage, and the unbreakable bond she shared with the moon. With the dawn of a new day, Selene knew her adventures were far from over but she also knew that whatever challenges lay ahead, she would face them with the light of the moon as her guide. In the aftermath of the battle, as the kingdom began to heal and rebuild, Princess Selene found herself changed. The victory over the shadow had not only saved her realm, but also ignited a deeper understanding of her connection to the cosmos. With peace restored, Selene's thoughts turned to the silver city in the sky and the wisdom of the Moon Queen. She knew there was still much to learn, and her journey was far from complete. The Moon Queen, aware of Selene's growth and the lingering threats that the universe held, summoned her once again. This time, the journey back to the silver city was different. Selene felt a sense of belonging, a kinship with the stars and the moon that guided her path. Upon her arrival, she was greeted not as a student, but as a protector of the night, a title that filled her with both honor and a sense of duty. The queen shared tales of the cosmos, of realms beyond their own where the balance between light and darkness was always in flux. Selene listened, her heart alight with curiosity and a newfound purpose. She learned of the celestial guardians, beings of immense power tasked with maintaining harmony throughout the stars. It was a role Selene felt drawn to, a calling that resonated with the very core of her being. With the Queen's guidance, Selene embarked on a series of journeys across the cosmos, each adventure teaching her more about the delicate balance of the universe and her place within it. She encountered worlds of unimaginable beauty, creatures of light and darkness, and challenges that tested her strength, wisdom, and heart. With each trial, her connection to the moon and her powers grew, as did her resolve to protect the balance she had come to cherish. Back in her kingdom, Selene's absence was felt by all, but her periodic returns brought with them stories of her adventures and the lessons they held. She became a symbol of hope and a reminder of the beauty and mystery that lay beyond the stars. Her people looked up at the night sky with wonder, seeing it not as a canvas of darkness, but as a realm of infinite possibilities, guarded by their moonlight princess. As Selene's legend grew, so did the tales of her courage and the light she brought to the darkest corners of the cosmos. But with each journey, a part of her longed for the simplicity of her life before her destiny had unfolded. She found solace in the quiet moments, in the beauty of her kingdom, and in the love of her people. 
These moments of peace were precious, reminders of what she fought to protect. The balance between her duties as a protector of the cosmos and the princess of her kingdom was a delicate one. Selene walked this path with grace, understanding that her connection to the moon was not just a source of power, but a bridge between worlds, a guide to finding harmony within herself and the universe. Her adventures in the stars became a beacon of light for those who sought to find their way in the darkness, a testament to the power of following one's destiny. And though the night sky was vast and filled with unknowns, Selene faced it with a fearless heart, guided by the moonlight that had always been her companion. The journey of the Moonlight Princess was a tale of discovery, of battles fought and won, and of the eternal dance between light and darkness. As seasons turned and years wove themselves into the tapestry of time, Princess Selene's mastery over the lunar arts and her role as a celestial guardian flourished. With each expedition across the heavens, she wove a thread of light through the darkness, binding the stars in a dance of eternal harmony. Yet, amidst her celestial duties, a whisper of unrest stirred within her. The universe was vast, filled with mysteries and wonders yet to be explored. But it was also a realm of endless challenges, where the balance between light and darkness was perpetually fragile. During one of her visits to the Silver City, the Moon Queen presented Selene with a new challenge, one that would test her in ways she had not anticipated. Far beyond their realm, in a corner of the cosmos where stars were scarce, a darkness thicker than any shadow Selene had faced before was growing. Unlike the shadow she had vanquished, this darkness was not born of malice or desire for dominion, but from a deep sorrow that consumed all light that dared approach. Selene, guided by the wisdom of the Moon Queen, embarked on a journey to this forgotten corner of the universe. Her heart, though heavy with the knowledge of the task ahead, was alight with determination. The journey was long and fraught with peril. Stars flickered and dimmed as she passed, a testament to the consuming grief that lay ahead. Upon arriving, Selene found a world engulfed in shadows, its light swallowed by an ancient sorrow. The darkness was palpable, a weight that pressed against her very soul. Yet, within this abyss, she sensed a flicker of light, a spark of hope smothered by despair. Drawing upon her connection to the moon and the lessons of the Moon Queen, Selene reached out to this light, her voice a gentle whisper in the vast silence. She spoke of the stars, of the beauty of the night sky, and of the balance between light and darkness. Her words, imbued with the power of lunar magic, wove a tapestry of moonbeams, a beacon in the darkness. Slowly, the shadow began to recede, unraveling in the face of Selene's unwavering spirit. At the heart of the darkness, she found not a foe, but a being of light, lost and consumed by grief. With patience and empathy, Selene listened to the being's tale of loss and loneliness, a story as old as the stars. She offered comfort, reminding it of the beauty that still existed in the universe and of the light that could be reborn from the deepest darkness. Together, they worked to heal the wounds of the past, to kindle a light that would shine as a beacon of hope for any who felt lost in the shadow. Selene's return to the Silver City was marked by a quiet triumph. She had not only dispelled a darkness, but had also restored a light that had been lost to the cosmos. 
Her journey had been a testament to the power of understanding and compassion, qualities that defined her as much as her bravery and magic. The Moon Queen welcomed her back with pride, acknowledging that Selene's challenges had taught her the true essence of her role as a celestial guardian. It was not just about defending the cosmos from darkness, but about understanding the delicate balance of emotions that fueled the universe itself. Back in her earthly kingdom, Selene's tale of compassion and light spread, inspiring her people and reminding them of the strength found in empathy and the importance of reaching out to those in need. Selene, their moonlight princess, had become a symbol of hope, not only for her kingdom, but for the cosmos itself. A guardian who walked the path of light with the wisdom to understand the darkness. Her adventures continued, each one a chapter in the endless story of the night. A dance of stars and shadows, guided by the gentle glow of the moon. As the years passed, Princess Selene's legend grew, not just within the confines of her own kingdom, but across the cosmos. Her journeys had taken her to the farthest reaches of the universe, where she had faced the darkness, healed ancient wounds, and brought light to forgotten corners. Yet, with each return to her earthly home, she brought with her not just tales of her adventures, but a deeper understanding of the universe and her place within it. The kingdom thrived under her guidance, becoming a beacon of hope and a testament to the balance between the celestial and the terrestrial. Selene's connection to the moon and the stars was a source of inspiration, teaching her people to look up at the night sky, not as a realm of distant, untouchable lights, but as a canvas of endless possibilities, a place where every star was a story and every story held a lesson. In time, Selene came to understand that her role as a celestial guardian was not a journey she had to undertake alone. She saw potential in the hearts of her people, a spark of the same light that had guided her through the darkest corners of the cosmos. With this realization, she founded the Order of the Lunar Knights, a brotherhood and sisterhood dedicated to protecting the balance between light and darkness, both on Earth and beyond. The Order brought together the bravest and most compassionate souls of the kingdom, training them in the arts of lunar magic and celestial navigation. Under Selene's tutelage, they learned to harness the power of the moon to read the stories written in the stars, and to face the darkness with courage and kindness. The Lunar Knights became guardians in their own right, emissaries of light who traveled across the world and beyond, spreading hope and fighting shadows wherever they crept. As the years turned into decades, Selene's journeys became less frequent. She spent more time in her kingdom, guiding the order and sharing the wisdom she had gathered from the stars. Her legacy was no longer just the battles she had fought or the darkness she had vanquished, but the light she had kindled in the hearts of others, a light that would continue to shine even when she was no longer there to lead the way. One night, under a sky ablaze with stars, Selene climbed to the highest tower of her palace. She looked out over her kingdom, at the peace and prosperity that had flourished under her rule, and up at the cosmos, a vast expanse that had once seemed daunting, but now felt like home. She whispered a prayer of thanks to the moon for guiding her for teaching her, and for showing her the true meaning of strength and destiny. 
and in that moment, as if in response, the moon shone brighter, casting a silver glow over the land. It was a sign, Selene knew, of the unbreakable bond between her and the celestial realm, a promise that her spirit would always be a part of the cosmos, guiding the lunar nights and watching over her kingdom. Princess Selene's story, the tale of the Moonlight Princess, became a legend that was told and retold, a beacon of hope that illuminated the darkest nights. It was a reminder that within every heart lies the potential for great light, and that even in the face of overwhelming darkness, the courage to follow one's destiny can illuminate the world. And so, under the watchful eye of the moon and the stars, Selene's legacy lived on, a timeless tale of adventure, magic, and the eternal dance between light and darkness.